We're out in the workshop working on some enhan enhancements to the BrewBot. Here uh, you can see that the mash basket for the BrewBot, the stainless steel mesh isn't really that fine, so we've been finding uh, a fair bit of grain particles ending up in the wort, which leaves for a not very clear beer. So have been thinking about how to resolve that, and one way is just to go with a finer mesh, but um, Another way we've come up with is to recirculate the wort during the mash, um, much like the, the German automated brew systems do. Unfortunately, underneath the brew bot, there's not really that much room to add a march pump like they have. Um, so I've been considering adding a peristaltic pump up on the bulkhead on the gantry and having some pipes go down into the mash and using that to recirculate. So you can find them on uh, eBay reasonably cheap, but they don't seem to do very high volumes. So I've been working on a slightly larger version in the workshop, a bit of a ghetto version just to prove the concept. Um, just using a bit of standard half-inch homebrew silicon hose, a bit of uh, four or five-inch PVC uh, pipe coupling here. Got some angle iron and some threaded rod and some springs that have been welded together, uh, actually brazed together. I don't have that much of a workshop here. Um, you can see the base of it is just some, some bits of scrap timber I've screwed together, all driven by a trusty uh, wiper screen, uh, windscreen wiper meter, uh, motor. And in there you can see the spider coupling between the output of the windscreen wiper motor and the shaft that drives the pump. So the aim is to get uh, you know, say 20, 30 litres through the pump in an hour to do at least uh, a couple of volumes of circulation of the mesh. Okay, so here we have the inside of the pump. It's pretty basic construction, just some angle iron, it's been braced together, and a couple of springs, um, pretty stiff, and for the rollers, just got stainless steel pin and a bit of quarter inch black steel pipe nipple.